everyone seems to have their own secret sauce when it comes to building the AR-15, and some recipes just hit better than others. Today, we're checking out the Wyndham Weaponry CDI. If you aren't familiar with the Wyndham name, chances are you've been living under a rock. Wyndham Weaponry has been producing rifles for quite some time, and let me tell you, they become damn good at it too. The Wyndham team, which is made up mostly of former Bushmaster firearm employees, brings a lot of knowledge and skill to the industry. I'd call the Wyndham backstory a true American success. If you would like to learn more about it, I'll leave a link to a pretty cool article in the video description. I shot my fair share of ARs over the course of my career, and honestly, not many of them left that everlasting impression that we're all searching for. Enter the Wyndham Weaponry CDI. The 16-inch gas impingement semi-auto rifle built to take a beating. Built on the company's slogan, the quality goes in before the rifle goes out. Wyndham's quality control process doesn't leave any box unchecked. The CDI is Wyndham's top-of-the-line AR, but is it worth the MSRP of $1,896? That's going to be for you to decide. It ships with this hard plastic case, a sling, one standard capacity magazine, and QD attachments. Nice touch. There's a lot of ARs out there that struggle with reliability when it comes to adverse conditions. I live in northern Wisconsin, and I'll be the first one to tell you, it gets damn cold around here. During the course of my test and evaluation, I ran this rifle in 15 degree weather at the warmest. I was expecting some sluggishness at the very least. Man, I was wrong. This rifle pushed right through the freezing temperatures and performed flawlessly. Nothing is ever perfect though. If I had to point out some flaws with the CDI, it would probably be its lack of ambi controls. I know they aren't for everyone, but personally, I like them. The CDI lacks an ambi safety, bolt, and magazine release, which I was kind of surprised by, you know, given the high price tag. Definitely not a deal breaker though. Equipped with a Magpul MOE pistol grip, CTR carbine stock, hand stop, and MBUS pro metal sights, those are the kind of extras I'm looking for. I was a little unsure of the hand stop at first, since I usually run a vertical foregrip on most of my rifles. The Magpul hand stop gave my support hand a very natural place to rest. I'd say I'm a fan of it. This hand stop can also be utilized as a support for shooting against barricades if need be. When it comes to the barrel, you're getting a chrome line 16 inch M4 profile with a vortex flash suppressor. The barrel material is 4150 chrome molly vanadium steel with M4 feed ramps and a 1 in 9 twist. I like this barrel. A lot. It gives this rifle exceptional accuracy. The four prong flash hider, it's great, but not my favorite. I would have liked to have seen this rifle come with the Surefire War Comp. I run a lot of War Comps due to having a Surefire SOCOM suppressor. With that being said, the Vortex flash suppressor does an excellent job at what it was designed to do. I can say I'm glad they went with this over your standard A2 birdcage. I'm sure we can all agree that the era of the quad rails is pretty much dead. Still very cool to this day, but dead. Wyndham knows this as well and gave the CDI a 15 inch aluminum free floating M lock rail. Sleek, sexy, and a great addition to this rifle. M lock is probably my preferred mounting option and the support for it's everywhere. Giving you a lightweight and slim profile, it makes a full size rifle like this very easy to maneuver and drive on target. Bolt carrier groups are the heart and soul of any rifle. Without a good BCG, let's face it. The rifle is probably going to be shit. Built with Carpenter 158 steel and a properly staked gas key, this is the kind of BCG that you want in a fighting rifle. The Forge 7075 T6 aircraft aluminum lower receiver is nicely done, though I would like to see some billet offerings in the future. Given its hard coat black anodized finish, it's great at resisting wear and scratching. The M4A4 flat top upper receiver gives you a great mounting surface for whatever optic you decide to run, and it also pairs up nice and tight with the lower. I'm running a Trigicon Credo 1-6 LPVO with a Midwest Industries QD mount. I did a review of this optic in the past. If that's something you want to check out, I'll leave the link at the end of this video. I left the MBUS Pro backup sights on while running the LPVO, and trust me there's a reason I did that. Most of you are probably looking at the setup and thinking, 
you can't even use those irons. Hear me out. In the odd event that my optic takes a shit or the glass breaks, I can easily remove it via the Midwest QD mount and run the irons in a worst case scenario. When it comes to the recoil impulse of the CDI, I was happy. The rifle shines in this area. Even though 556 is a naturally low recoiling round, I was able to keep this rifle extremely flat during faster rates of fire. I've seen some rifles out there that aren't properly tuned. Trust me, they can cause a bit of muzzle rise. The overall balance of the firearm is spot on. Weight distribution is a big thing for me, and it should be for you too. The CDI really hits that sweet spot. Coming in at 6.95 pounds without the magazine, it makes for an easy rifle to carry if you have to cover some distance. The trigger in this rifle is a mil-spec single stage trigger. Personally, I think it's a little bit above mil-spec. It makes for a great combat trigger. Not too light, yet not too heavy. This trigger gives you almost no take up and a very clean break. The most mil-spec part about it is gonna be the reset. You know, that clunky loud audible reset. I had no problem cooking off rounds fairly quick with this trigger. You do have the option to switch out if you choose to do so. I think I might throw an ATC flat gold or even a Geisley in here later on. One of my gripes about this rifle is definitely going to be the charging handle that it comes with. It comes with your standard DI style charging handle. That went immediately in a parts box and was replaced with this Radiant Raptor. That kind of ate me up a little bit. The fact that this high-end rifle came with the standard charging handle. I would much rather see this come with the Radian over anything else. Here's my final thoughts. I think that the Wyndham CDI is an excellent rifle. Built to take a beating, and it runs like a sewing machine. I shot close to a thousand rounds of Black Dot 223 62 grain, Winchester M855, and M193. All which ran reliably and without any malfunctions. The lack of ambi features isn't a deal breaker, but the thought of them is kind of nice. The MSRP of $1,896? Yeah, it's a little steep in my opinion, but remember that's just an MSRP. You can find these online for around $1,500 or less. That I can live with. I'm a huge fan of the Magpul furniture and the MBUS Pro sights. You don't see those sights included with many rifles, or any irons for that matter. So the fact that this rifle is ready to rock out of the box, that's a huge plus. I think the CDI is a great option for anyone looking at higher end ARs. Wyndham Weaponry, you have a very nice rifle on your hands. Guys, as always, thank you for stopping in, stay vigilant, and I will see you next time.